Hey, Steph. Can you hear me, Steph? Okay, awesome. <clears throat> I'm just going to wait a little bit longer to see if anyone else joins the um, the call today. You're the only one on the the call. We had about six people sign up, so I'm just going to we'll just wait a couple more minutes, and then uh, it'll just be you and me if no one else uh, if no one else uh, joins. Where do you um, where do you have your salons or salon? Yes, multitasking is the the lifeblood of the small business owner. Tropical Glow Tan in Canton, Georgia. Where um where is Canton in relation to um Atlanta? I don't I don't know where Canton is. It's about an hour away, maybe. Okay. <clears throat> One of my best managers moved just outside of of Atlanta. I think northwest, about an hour northwest of of Atlanta. Um, I think she's working with animals right now. She she loves animals more than people, but she. Uh, I know was looking to to work in a tanning salon at some point. So if you're looking for a manager and you're about an hour northwest of Atlanta, let me know and I will put you in contact with her. <clears throat> yeah, she's a big dog person. She has uh she rescues she rescues dogs. She takes them in as um uh, not as adoption, but do I have two stuffs now? Hi, can you hear me? Yes, oh. I can. Okay. <laughs> Hi. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's great. All right. Um, so uh, the session today is actually related to business, but not business. It per se, it's about how to uh, take care of yourself, the self care, uh, which is appropriate here because I see you are you are juggling so many things that you know you have a a child that you're trying to put down for a nap right now, oh. and <laughs> and you have a business you have a business to manage and probably uh -huh. a. Let me turn up my volume so I can hear you better. I'm sorry. I'm going to put myself on mute because she's talking, my daughter. Sorry. <laughs> she's talking. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't want to go to sleep yet. <laughs> I don't think so. She's watching with me, but I really need her to go to sleep, but it's okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I'll, I'll, you put her, put it on mute and uh, you can chat in some stuff if you, if you want okay. to. But um, it's just you and me today. No one else has joined. So if she wants to join in as well, that'll be the three of us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I do want to ask you before we start. Um, yes. You do have two books, right? I have three books, but yes. Uh -huh. Okay. I did buy one, but I didn't have the chance to read it yet. But I did buy your book. Which one? Um, I think it's... Uh, the one that improves sales, the one with lotion, the lotion sales secrets. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Yes. You definitely get it out and read it. It, it shouldn't take you more than a, a couple hours. How big is your staff? 
So right now I do have uh, five girls, but I do also go work at the salon sometimes. I like to do that, honestly. Okay, yeah, yeah, I I like it too. In fact, I'm going to visit my salons. I I live here in Front Royal, Virginia, on top of a mountain, but my stores are 714 miles away in wow. Illinois. So I'm in Virginia. My stores are in in Illinois. This morning I had a um, meeting with my managers, which we do every Wednesday morning, and that's how I manage my stores. Uh, I've got two good managers. I've got two stores and uh, I have a business partner who lives in Austin, Texas, and she hasn't visited the salons in about seven years, I think. Um, oh. and it's been about a year since I visited, but I'm excited. I'm going in uh, September. I'm going to visit my stores in September. We're going to do a, a free tan event three days, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in September. So I'm real excited about getting back to see the stores. I also miss uh, indoor tanning. Um, I yeah. <laughs> I have a very private deck, so I tan out here on this deck in the summertime. But pretty soon I'm not going to be able to do that. And my my nearest salon is um, about 30 minutes away, so I'd have to drive 30 minutes to visit a a tanning salon, which I I don't do. Tell well, me a little bit. Yeah, go sorry. Go. No, you you tell me. You want me to tell you a little bit about the salon? Yeah, tell me a little about the salon. Tell me a little bit about where you're at. Tell me a little bit about issues you're having. We might as well make this a one-on-one. -on -one yes, I'm honored, actually. I'm very lucky <laughs> that yeah. it's just me. Okay. Um, so, okay. I... My sister and her husband, they have three tanning salons, okay? The first one they had, I used to run it. It okay. used to be in Kennesaw, Georgia. So I used to run that place, and I loved it. Hey, let me put uh, the video, because my daughter isn't going to sleep. Sure. Oh, I can't. Wait, Mommy. Sorry, give me just one second. Absolutely. Hi. Hey. Hey. Okay. So, um, so I used to run that place. Then, by the way, I'm from Lebanon. Okay, I was born here in the U.S. But sorry, that's my daughter. Um, so I was born here, and I graduated college in Lebanon, and I decided to move here. So almost four or five years ago, I used to run that salon. It's called Twenty Four Hour Tahiri Tan. Uh -huh. And then I decided when I came back, I left. I went to Lebanon. So when I came back, I decided to open my own salon. And my sister was very supportive of that. Um, so anyway, I found a very good salon in Canton because in the area that I'm at, by the way, it's 40 minutes away from my house. I live in Marietta and Canton is like 40 minutes away from my house. So I found an amazing place because honestly, it was a disaster when I found it. And I love that because I'm like, okay, I can make a lot of changes. It used to be called Cabana Tan. So I okay. bought it from the lady that had it for 15 years. But she did not do a good job with maintenance and all of that. But it's okay. That was a better thing for me. Um, And I bought it mid-COVID. As soon as COVID hit, it was June 2020. I closed on the deal. I bought the salon. And everybody was against the idea. Everybody was like, no, you're crazy. Don't do it. I just loved, um, I loved the, like the tanning industry. So I'm like, okay, let me just go ahead and do it. And I did. And it's been doing amazing because also there's no tanning salons around there. Like the closest one is maybe like 20 minutes away, which is really good for me. Um, now you already know it's not tan season. So we're not doing good at all like they're doing maybe twenty dollars a day and um the the girls at the salon because they're high school girls they keep 
like they leave when they graduate and then we have another girl but the manager there I really like her she's been with me even before I bought the salon she used to work for the lady before me uh -huh. um so uh -huh. the EFTs is what runs the salon but honestly it's been doing really good when I'm there I love selling uh -huh. lotions Mommy. yes one second um I just love being there, but now with my daughter, she's really young. She's almost two, so I can't be there a lot, but I'm trying my best. And it's only me and the manager that do spray tans also. So whenever there's a spray tan, I have to go there. And um, that's it. Okay, well, that's great. Uh, we got uh, Ronnie joined us from Canada. So we're gonna um, we're gonna go ahead and and cover what I wanted to cover today, unless okay. you guys override me and tell me you would like to uh, to do something else with uh, the remaining 15 minutes we have. What I wanted to cover was uh, how to take care of yourself while you're trying to run the salon and run your family. Um, I run my stores from 714 miles away, so I have a lot of opportunity for self-care as you can see, I'm sitting on my deck out in the middle of a forest. I I come out here every opportunity I, I can, um, but I wanted to give you three small steps that you can do. Can everyone see my my PDF file? Yes, I can okay. see it. All right, I'll, let me just enlarge it just a little bit here. I can see it, but I can't read it. <laughs> How about now? I think you sent us this, right? I haven't sent uh, the whole thing. I sent you, oh. um, I sent you an email about it, but okay. I didn't. Uh, and I'll send this to you. It's a a much more um, detailed. It's a four page document, but it's three small steps to eliminate stress without adding anything really extra to your schedule. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not saying to go do a yoga class or um, go buy a book on Buddha and, you know, read it. That's none of that what you have to do. These are uh, evidence-based, researched ways to reduce stress in your life. And they're things that I do every day. So I wanted to share them with you because, as you can imagine, you know, I run two stores from far away, but I also have a coaching business and I'm starting a third business here uh, as well on the side. So life can can get real hectic. I have a partner and um, uh, I have, I'm in a great relationship. It's not stressful at all. So I'm very fortunate on that point, but largely because of the way we live our lives, that's what happens. And I wanted to share that with you today. I'm, the first thing is to is to just breathe and i know that sounds silly and simple but have you ever been driving and um, you see the flashing lights and sirens of a police car behind you and what happens you know what happens inside you get this anxiety right you're like your heart starts beating you think their police officer is going to pull you over and then the the police officer passes you by uh, but your heart still Pounding. Well, a technique that I use when I get anxious, when things like that happen, is to simply breathe in and breathe in deep into your gut and just hold it for about four seconds. In fact, the technique is called the four, seven, eight technique, where you inhale deep into your gut for four seconds, you hold it for seven seconds, and Think about the calmness of the moment, and then you exhale slowly for eight seconds. And this has actually been documented in the Journal of Clinical Psychology in 2017 to help relax your nerves, to calm your nerves. So this is science-based stuff. This isn't just hokum that uh, some new life uh, person has, has come up with. And I absolutely love this. I do this throughout the day. Anytime something happens, I don't know about you, but I make a lot of mistakes throughout the day. And most of them I consider stupid mistakes, like things that I've made, mistakes I've done over and over and over again. And I'm like, when am I ever going to learn from that mistake? And that's when I get most frustrated with myself is when I make 
dumb mistakes over and over again. And this technique helps me to just like, and then just slowly let it out. And it just lets the, the whole thing go away. And it works like crazy. Now this next one, step two, is actually something that it took me a long time to incorporate, but it only takes a short time to actually do. And what I do, um, I love coffee. Uh, I don't know about you, what your, you have a favorite beverage, but my favorite beverage is coffee. I have a really nice espresso machine in my kitchen. I'm absolutely spoiled. When I leave my house, I almost won't buy coffee anywhere because nobody, almost nobody makes coffee as, as fine as I make coffee. So, but when I'm home, and I drink decaf. I just love the smell and taste of coffee. It's nothing about the caffeine. In fact, caffeine would probably have a reverse effect on unwinding and drawing. But I get up from my computer about once every 45 minutes to an hour. I will go make myself a shot of espresso, pour a little bit of hot water in it. It's a, a short Americano. And I will come out here on my deck and I will just sit for five minutes, enjoy the cup of coffee, listen to the birds, look at the trees, just let the day go by. And this is another published research study by uh, POLS1 in 2016 that, under that unveiled how important it is to just take five minutes. And, and what happened to me was I felt like I was killing my productivity. I would break from what I'm doing, I would go and and so for me it was work 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 but then what I realized was my efficiency my productivity actually dropped precipitously whenever I just work 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 and so now what I do is when my butt starts getting sore in the chair which is about 45 minutes I get up my office is upstairs, so I have to walk a flight of stairs. That's also very good for you is to do some exercise. I make my coffee. I go outside. I sit. And when I get back to the computer, I my productivity goes back up again. And then it starts to fall again. I take the five-minute break. Productivity goes back up again. So this is not only helping your mind to relax, but it also get, increases your productivity. The secret was that I had to give myself permission. It was just a simple thing. I had to say to myself, Don, give yourself permission to take the five minute break. And that has, this one has been a game changer for me uh, that I can just go out, enjoy, give myself permission, sit out on the deck, enjoy a cup of coffee or whatever it is that you, whatever it is that you enjoy and do that. Now, finally, and the third thing, and again, this takes no extra time really out of your day. And that is to express gratitude. This is also research. Dr. Emmons and Dr. Martin um, Selgeman have revealed that the power of gratitude um, is a force to be reckoned with in enhancing your well-being. What I do, and my, what my me and my partner do every morning, we sit down for another drink that I enjoy, which is hot, is a matcha matcha chai. It's uh, it's our recipe. We put matcha, turmeric, cinnamon, and we use Ceylon cinnamon. We're 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 kind of snobs about the the kind of things that we eat and drink. Some cayenne some black pepper and um, a little bit of uh, a milk of your choice. We use a nut milk and some monk fruit, which is just a sweetener that has no calories in it. And it's, it's hyper sweet, but it has no calories in it. And we, we drink that. But before we drink that, we, we take off our glasses and we kiss and we hug and we express to each other things that make us grateful and quite frequently it's just the peace of that moment that we're grateful for or it's grateful that we're sharing this journey in life with this other person or if the birds are out um, grateful 
to just listen to the bird song in the morning. And we do this throughout the day multiple times, pretty much between every time we sit down together. So if we sit down for a coffee, if we sit down for a snack, if we sit down for breakfast, lunch, dinner, all these times before the meal or before the drink starts, we have this moment of gratitude together. And it you can feel the joy and happiness that just overtakes you throughout your day. So in summary, what, what I would like you to take from this is one, these are baby steps. There's, they're so small. These are things so little. They take next to zero time. And I, I didn't want to give you any recommendations for self-care that one, you'd have to spend extra money on. I didn't want to do that. You're small business owners like me. We're trying to save every penny we can. It's the off season. Steph was just talking about how things are tight. I didn't want to tell you, you know, you need to go down to the yoga studio and and do that. And I don't do yoga, by the way. Um, but I know a lot of people do and they get a lot of peace of, of, of mind out of it. I want it to be something that wouldn't add to your day. These are things that, you know, breathing you're doing anyway. So now all you're going to do is, is you're going to make it intentional. You're going to, when you start to feel anxious, just inhale, hold, and then exhale. And you can do this multiple times throughout the day. I do it multiple times of the day. It's now unconscious to me, actually. It's just a natural thing. When I start to feel anxiety, I naturally inhale and then exhale pretty much the anxiety away. And then the second thing is to give yourself permission to just relax, okay? You put your baby down, whether it's your child or your salon, both of them are babies in my mind, and you put it down, take five minutes just to yourself, whatever your favorite beverage is, or if you want a snack, or if you just want to be by yourself for five minutes, or just listen to music. That's also has the same impact. Take that five minutes and that it it de-stresses you. It brings down your cortisol level, which is your stress hormone. And then finally, uh, probably the most important thing is to step back and and take inventory of what you are grateful for in your life because the gratitude immediately comes back to you when you give out gratitude you it you put a smile on your face you can't even you can't help yourself every time you um, express gratitude to your spouse to the food you're about to eat to the and I'm not even suggesting this has to be a religious thing if you're not religious uh, it doesn't have to be a religious thing. This can be a very secular experience. Uh, but prayer is also very similar to expressing uh, gratitude. And it's very simpler, sim similar to meditation. And if you do these three small steps, I think you're going to find your business productivity goes um, through the roof. Do you have any questions about what we talked about today or about anything else that you would like to discuss? Um, what do you do when it's off season <laughs> other than EFTs? How do you boost the sales? Uh, that's a long discussion. You and yeah. I should, you and I should set up a, um, a, a 30 minute one-on-one -on -one session where we can cover all of the options that you have during that. And I'll send you a link for a free 30 minute consult. Um, okay. and we can. We can address your very specific um, needs. We'll need to know more about where you're at, uh, what your population of your town is, what is around you, what um, competing businesses, what complementary businesses that you have, what you're already doing. Um, so there's a lot of variables that that we can cover in a, in a one-on-one -on -one session. Okay. Ronnie, you have anything that... Uh, you want to add or questions? 
Um, no, I think that the suggestions you gave are great, actually. Uh, they kind of tie into some practices that I've I've recently been implementing in the last few weeks. Um, with the, the, I mean, mine looks like I'm trying to build up to five minutes. I've got about, I've gotten up to about three minutes. I'm trying to get up to five minutes of meditation, but having okay. an important morning routine um, really does set a tone for the day. Uh, so taking the time, not grabbing your phone right away. I mean, they seem really, you know, how's that going to make a difference? Right. But it really does bring you back to the moment, bring you into the present, give you better focus. Um, the breathe, you know, doing intentional breathing. I'm, I've just recently read Think Like a Monk and one of the first chapters they talk about is your breath and how your breath is, uh, you know, takes you in and out of, you were constantly in this fight or flight mode all day long. So controlling your breathing is, uh, is important. Um, yeah, all great tips, all, all uh, certain practices that you can get your morning, get, or however that looks for you, whether it's your evening, your downtime or your uptime. Uh, so that's great. It's always nice to hear the tips that of the validation of things you're doing and they're heading in the right direction, especially from people who are living the lifestyle that you are uh, after. So great tips. Thanks, Don. All right. Good. All right. Well, thank you all very much. I will send you an email with a link to the video. And I'll also send you that document so you can read in more detail. You can look at the studies if you want to um, and and see in more detail. I explain my story, what I actually do in more detail uh, each of the day. But there are three small steps that you can do to just relieve yourself of a whole lot of anxiety. Yeah. And uh, I got a quick question for you off uh, yes not really off, kind of off topic but still applies to you um i need to book another co coaching call um but i did notice you sent an email uh or you have other products i i know that i've been you've been coaching with me with employees yes. um which have i tried every single thing you did and said to do and it worked amazing awesome um so i decided awesome. to just turn over the reins and do exactly what you said and it worked. So awesome. I can't wait to tell you Good about idea. that. And uh, and I saw that you had other handbooks and systems that I'm uh, wanting to talk to you about that uh, you and I can work together towards. So All right. I'll make sure you get the link so that uh, we can set up another call. Okay. All right. I think I have Thank it. you all. Okay. All right. Thanks. Uh, bye. bye Thank you. Bye. Thank bye. you.